welcome to an exciting journey into the world of historic automobiles. In this video, we will tell you about three incredible cars that have left an unforgettable mark on the world of the automotive industry. Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing, defining the supercar. When you think of a supercar, what comes to mind? Is it raw power, stunning aesthetics, or a combination of both? The debate over what defines a true supercar has raged on for decades, with enthusiasts and experts divided over the key criteria. Some argue that a supercar should be an uncompromising machine, built for racing and pushing the limits of both technology and driver skill. Others believe that a supercar should evoke emotions, be absurdly powerful, and possess a unique sense of occasion. In this article, we delve into the history and characteristics of the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing, a car that straddled the line between these two schools of thought and is often considered the original supercar. To understand why the 300 SL is so revered in the automotive world, we need to examine its unique blend of performance, innovation, and style. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, with its iconic Gullwing doors, gets its name from 300 denoting a 3-liter engine and SL4 Sport Light, which translates to Sport Light in English. While the first two claims are beyond debate, the Sport Light part serves as a reminder that technological advancements are context-dependent. In the mid-1950s and early 1960s, the 300 SL's weight of 2,888 pounds was considered light, but by today's standards, it may not be a featherweight. However, its sporting prowess was undeniable. The 300 SL was a trailblazer in automotive engineering. It featured direct fuel injection, aluminum body panels, a tubular space frame chassis, four-wheel independent suspension, and a top speed of 161 miles per hour. Even by today's standards, these features are remarkable, but in 1954, they were revolutionary. These innovations were born out of Mercedes-Benz racing ambitions, as the 300 SL W194 served as the racing car predecessor of the road-going version, known internally as the W198. Racing Origins and Uncompromised Design The 300 SL W194 achieved remarkable success on the racetrack, with notable victories at the Mill Melia, Le Mans, and the Nürburgring. This racing pedigree heavily influenced the production car's design. Its 3.0L inline six cylinder engine was tilted at an almost 40 degree angle, allowing for a low and visually stunning hoodline that improved aerodynamics. The trademark Gullwing doors, often seen as a design flourish, were actually an engineering solution to maintain the rigid and lightweight tubular chassis underneath. One of the most significant advancements in the road-going 300 SL was the introduction of direct fuel injection, a technology previously reserved for aircraft engines. This innovation boosted the engine's output to approximately 230 horsepower, a substantial increase from the carbureted racecar's 170 horsepower. However, this mechanical injection system had its quirks, as it continued to pump fuel even after the engine shut off leading the gasoline seepage into the engine oil. The solution? Drive the car hard and long to generate enough heat to burn off the excess fuel. This was a true supercar, powerful, light, and brimming with racing technology, yet unapologetically flawed. Beyond its technical prowess, the 300 SL's design was a marvel in itself. Its low hood and cab set back towards the rear created a striking and unforgettable silhouette enhanced by bold fender accents and gills. The bodywork was meticulously crafted to achieve the most aerodynamic shape of its time. Aluminum was extensively used in both the chassis and engine components, and a select few cars featured all aluminum body panels, showcasing the car's commitment to exotic materials and craftsmanship. However, it was the gullwing doors that truly set the 300 SL apart. While their primary function was to preserve the chassis' structural integrity, these doors generated wonder and awe whenever they were opened. They were a revolutionary departure in automotive design, making the 300 SL stand out even among its competitors. In fact, only Ferrari could rival Mercedes-Benz in producing cars with such stunning aesthetics. In conclusion, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing is a classic collector's car that embodies the best of both worlds in the supercar debate. 
it was a racing car for the road, boasting cutting-edge technology and uncompromising performance. Simultaneously, it was drop-dead gorgeous, dripping with style and commanding attention wherever it went. It was the original supercar, a car that sparks endless discussions among enthusiasts. The debate over what defines a supercar will likely continue, with passionate arguments on both sides. However, the 300 SL Gullwing's place in automotive history is secure. It stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of cars that seamlessly blend innovation, power, and style, setting the bar for supercars that followed. So, what do you think defines a supercar? In many ways, the answer lies in the timeless legacy of the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Cadillac V16, the epitome of luxury. In the midst of the Great Depression, when many Americans were struggling to make ends meet, Cadillac dared to dream big and create something extraordinary. The result was the Cadillac V16, a symbol of opulence and innovation in the history of automobiles. A marvel of engineering. What set the Cadillac V16 apart from its contemporaries was its powerhouse of an engine. As the name suggests, it featured a 16-cylinder engine, a feat of engineering brilliance at the time. This mammoth power plant promised unparalleled smoothness and power, making it the perfect fit for Cadillac's most exclusive clientele. The V16's engine was a work of art, providing the driver with an experience that was second to none. The refinement and sophistication of its power delivery were unmatched, setting a new standard for luxury cars. It was not just a car, it was a rolling masterpiece, showcasing the finest craftsmanship and engineering prowess of the era. Luxury Amidst Adversity Introduced in the early 1930s, the Cadillac V16 arrived during one of the darkest periods in American history, the Great Depression. Economic hardships were the norm, and many automakers were struggling to survive. However, Cadillac refused to compromise on its commitment to luxury and innovation. Despite the economic turmoil, the V16 was a bold statement of Cadillac's unwavering dedication to excellence. It was a car that defied the odds, offering an escape from the harsh realities of the time. Those fortunate enough to own a V16 reveled in the unparalleled comfort and prestige it provided. Setting the Standard The Cadillac V16 was not just a car, it was a symbol of luxury and success. It became the preferred choice of captains of industry, Hollywood stars, and royalty. The automobile was an emblem of status, a proclamation of one's achievement in life. In many ways, the V16 set the standard for high-end American automobiles. It was a beacon of innovation, boasting features that were ahead of its time. From its advanced engine technology to its opulent interior, the V16 left an indelible mark on the automotive world. Legacy and Influence The Cadillac V16's legacy endures to this day. It serves as a reminder of an era when the automotive industry dared to dream big, even in the face of adversity. The car's engineering brilliance and luxury have inspired generations of automobile enthusiasts and designers. While the V16 may no longer be in production, its spirit lives on in the pursuit of excellence and the relentless drive to push the boundaries of what is possible in the world of automobiles. It serves as a testament to Cadillac's enduring commitment to luxury and innovation. In conclusion, the Cadillac V16 stands as a shining example of automotive opulence and engineering excellence. Introduced during a challenging period in American history, it defied the odds and set the standard for luxury cars. Its legacy continues to inspire and captivate those who appreciate the timeless allure of a truly exceptional automobile. Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost, Setting the Luxury Standard In the annals of automotive history, one name stands out as the embodiment of luxury, elegance, and engineering excellence, the Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. Born in 1906, this iconic automobile has left an indelible mark on the world of motoring, earning its place as a true legend in the industry. The Visionaries Behind the Icon The creation of the Silver Ghost was the brainchild of two remarkable individuals, Henry Royce, a brilliant engineer, and Charles Rolls, a shrewd businessman. Their partnership gave birth to not just a car but an enduring legacy that continues to captivate enthusiasts and connoisseurs to this day. Overcoming Challenges, 
design and manufacturing triumphs. The Silver Ghost's inception was fraught with challenges, as the early 20th century motoring industry was still in its infancy. Sourcing reliable components, achieving a smooth and silent ride, and ensuring mechanical longevity were formidable obstacles. Yet, Henry Royce and his dedicated team tackled these hurdles with a blend of innovation and unwavering determination. A Star is Born, Public Adoration When the Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost made its debut, it was met with widespread acclaim. It was more than just a car, it was a symbol of prestige, an engineering marvel that captured the imagination of the public. It represented the zenith of automotive achievement, seamlessly combining luxury, reliability, and style in a single package. Design Excellence, Setting the Silver Ghost Apart The Silver Ghost's superiority was evident in every aspect of its design. Unparalleled engine performance, its 7-liter, 6-cylinder engine was a masterpiece of engineering, providing a smooth and silent operation that set it apart from all competitors. Bodywork and aesthetics, the Silver Ghost's bodywork was a work of art, exuding elegance and sophistication. It was not merely functional but a statement of refinement. Innovative suspension, the suspension system redefined comfort and stability, setting new standards for motoring design. Triumph on the Track, Racing Legacy The Silver Ghost wasn't content with just being a symbol of luxury, it proved its mettle on the racetrack. Its reliability and performance in endurance races cemented its reputation as a car that not only looked good but could outperform the best in the business. Comparative Excellence When measured against its contemporaries, the Silver Ghost stood head and shoulders above the rest. While its price tag was substantial, it offered unparalleled value, combining luxury, performance, and reliability in a way that few other cars could match. Technical Prowess The Silver Ghost's technical specifications showcased Rolls-Royce's unwavering commitment to excellence. Every component, from the engine to the chassis, was meticulously crafted with precision and an unmatched attention to detail. Acknowledging Imperfections while the Silver Ghost was a marvel of engineering, it was not without its flaws. Its intricate design made maintenance a challenge, and its fuel consumption, by modern standards, was extravagant. However, these shortcomings pale in comparison to its overall brilliance. Enduring Legacy In terms of financial and technical success, the Silver Ghost left a complex legacy. It may not have been a car for the masses, but it set the gold standard for luxury automobiles and firmly established Rolls-Royce as a leading name in the world of motoring. Today's Collector's Treasure Today, the 1906 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost is a cherished gem in the collector's market. Its rarity and historical significance elevate it beyond a mere car, transforming it into a coveted piece of motoring history. The Silver Ghost continues to mesmerize and inspire a testament to the enduring appeal of a true motoring legend.